It's Easter Sunday today, so if you are indeed celebrating Easter, then hey, happy Easter to you and your folks. If you're not celebrating Easter, then go out there and buy some cheap discounted chocolate eggs and chocolate bunnies because your local supermarkets probably have an abundance of those. But today's show is starting out with episode 11 in season 5 of the Why I Want series. This is the series where we take a look at upcoming NHL draft prospects. We go over what they are, what they could be. I share my opinions on where these players are going to go and and we just kind of get a nice conversation flowing when it comes to the young guys of the future. We've talked about a lot of top-tier players so far. We made videos about Shane Wright, we talked about Matthew Savoy, Brad Lambert, Logan Cooley, Yuri Slavkovsky, they've all been in the spotlight, but this video is going over another player, just like Seamus Casey in the last episode, who hasn't really been given the highest praise on the draft board. This is not a guaranteed top 5 pick, this is not a top 10 pick. In fact, this player might not even be a first-round pick, despite the fact that his name kind of reminds you of somebody who did go in the first round. Let's talk today about Jack Hughes. And yeah, I know what you're thinking. Jack Hughes, wait a minute, that guy was already drafted. He was first overall by the Devils, wasn't he? Yeah, you're correct about that. It's just here in 2021-2022, there happens to be another kid in the draft whose name is also Jack Hughes. It's spelt exactly the same way as well, and he happens to be playing out of the Northeastern University Huskies program. Interesting to note, though, you talk about the Hugheses, like the Quins and the Lukes and the Jacks. Jack Hughes right here, the guy we're talking about, not the New Jersey Devils Jack Hughes, his father happens to be Kent Hughes, somebody that a lot of Canadians fans are familiar with. He is the GM of the Habs. So we've got a lot of people tuning into this video because either A, you're interested in talking about Kent Hughes's son because you're a Montreal fan, or B, you're just interested in hearing about the guy who happens to have the same name as a first overall pick whom we've discussed a ton about on this channel in the past. But this new Jack Hughes is 18 years old, born in November of 2003, 6 feet 165 as a left-handed center. Because he's a November 2003 born birth date, he is one of the older players in the NHL draft. And if you take a look at his consolidated ranking, he is projected by everybody, if you average it out, to being a late first round selection. His consolidated ranking is 31st overall. Lead Prospects has him at 40. Future Considerations has him at 57. TSN and Bob McKenzie have him a bit higher, though. They have him at number 27. McKean's is lower on him with 62. Craig Button has him at 48. However, this is where we get to a bit more optimistic projections right here. NHL Central Scouting has Jack Hughes as their 7th best skater in North America. Sportsnet has him at 20th. Dauber has him at 25, Draft Prospects Hockey at 24, Smot Scouting at 29, Puck Authority at 27, and then you have the lowest ranking on here, it's Recruit Scouting, they have him all the way down at 70. So there's a pretty big range as to where Jack Hughes could probably go in this year's draft. If you go over his production this season with the Northeastern Huskies as a freshman, he played 39 games with that team and he had 16 points. Not bad for a first-year NCAA player. Last season, though, playing for the U18 team, he had 34 points in 38 games played. Interesting to note, because he was on the U18 team, he actually was playing with Luke Hughes, that is, the current New Jersey Devils prospect and Michigan Wolverine stud. They had the same point production pretty much, which is kind of funny when you take a look at how these players are developing. If you go over to NHL.com, you'll find this article talking about Jack Hughes and how he's crafting his own identity as a top 2022 draft prospect. The link will be in the description if you want to read this article. It's published by Mike Morial. The Northeastern forward is used to being mistaken for the New Jersey Devil Center. He's also excited for his father, who is now the Canadiens GM. This is what Jack Hughes says when it comes to being named Jack Hughes. I get mistaken for the devil's guy all the time, whether it's Instagram or Twitter, wherever. People seem to think that we might be brothers or something. I was on the same team as his brother, and a lot of people ask me, does it bother you? Does it get on your nerves? I think it's pretty funny, honestly. It's a crazy coincidence that there happens to be two hockey players with the same name. When it comes to how he describes his overall play, he describes himself as a playmaking forward and he thinks his two biggest assets are his skill and his hockey sense. He likes to make plays and he likes to think that he makes other players around him better. Some of the other quotes in this article go over how Jack Hughes' father, Kent Hughes, has taught him everything he knows, but his brother has been the one to push him along the way. Since I was probably 10, Jack Hughes said, we've done everything together hockey-wise. I kind of followed him pretty much my entire life, so to play with him now at Northeastern, his brother is... Rangers prospect and Northeastern junior Riley Hughes. To play with him now, he just pushes me to be the best version of myself on and off the ice. 
This is the scouting report on Dauber Prospects from a little bit ago, talking about Hughes and his overall play. This was written back in September 2021 by Alexander Anun. Jack Hughes is an effective two-way pivot who plays an intelligent and responsible game. In showing a high compete level, Hughes is a true jack-of-all-trades. He performs well in the face-off circle, forechecks and backchecks aggressively, and he has a good understanding of what's required of him in every situation. In the offensive zone, he tactfully uses deeks to lure the opponent in and create space for himself to distribute the puck. He can occasionally be found guilty of making an extra pass, but his willingness to pass instead of shoot is deceiving to the opposition and is a driving force to his offensive game. He doesn't do a great job at generating his own shots, but he rather relies on his teammates to feed him the puck in the shooting position. He does, however, do a great job generating shooting opportunities for teammates through his relentless work ethic and ability to create space. On the power play, he plays the bumper role to give him the option of shooting or being the central distributor. While he is a pass-first guy, Hughes possesses a good shot and has a knack for getting himself into dangerous scoring positions. At both ends of the ice, he shows a willingness to dig in and play a gritty game along the boards. He also shows strong defensive awareness, positioning his body and stick well to close off passing and shooting lanes. He isn't the biggest guy out there, but he uses his body effectively to win puck battles and outsmart opponents. He is a talented player whose cerebral game will appeal to plenty of teams next summer, and a strong season with the Husky should ensure the Americans have another player selected in the first round. Now, his production this season wasn't the best. He played about 17 minutes of time on ice per game, according to the Dauber Prospects December 2021 report. But of course, based off of the rankings, there still are some other scouting outlets that are a lot more optimistic in his overall development. This is what Smot Scouting says on their own scouting report for Jack Hughes. If he can work on his shot and his passing mechanics, his production will go up and we could be looking at a solid two-way centerman that you could probably place on your second line. And so we go to the NHL. He's not going to be an early draft pick. He'll likely be available towards the end of the first round, if not parts of the second round. There will be an opportunity for every team in the NHL, most likely, to take this player. The question is, where does he go? Does Kent Hughes, the father, call him up and say, yeah, you know, we're going to draft you. We like you enough and we can use another center, which I don't really think is the case, but bear with me here. So we're going to draft you, my son. Maybe New Jersey goes out there and says, hey, if you can become a second line caliber center, you can play behind Nico Hishier as our third line center, and we can have a fantastic center core of Jack Hughes, Nico Hishier, Jack Hughes, and then put Jack Hughes and Jack Hughes on the same power play with Luke Hughes in order to mess with the heads of all the broadcasting crews covering New Jersey Devils games. Or Vancouver can go out there and say, hey, we're going to trade away JT Miller soon, and we're going to move Petey to the wing so we could use another center long term. Maybe Jack Hughes can be that guy, and we can have him playing alongside a Quinn Hughes because, you know, memes. Even if he doesn't become that good, we still have the regular Dauber Prospects report here saying that he's a skilled playmaker who plays a mature two-way game. Upside may be limited, but his floor is relatively high, and he should grow into an impactful third-line center at the very least. So, he's got a floor that is pretty sustainable to project towards being an NHL player. His skating mechanics are good, he's got good edge work and good speed, he's got really good playmaking ability, and his two-way understanding of the game is pretty pristine. You're not necessarily drafting a top-of-the-line player here, but if you're using an early second-round pick, or maybe even just a late first, to try to get this guy and say, okay, if he becomes an NHL player that is playing, let's say, 16, 17 minutes a night on the second or third line, while keeping the puck out of our own net and making some pretty good passes once in a while to generate offense for us, then that seems like a pretty good bet with a late first or an early second. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below about Jack Hughes and his progression over here. The good thing about his profile is that he's clearly not done developing. He's gonna have another season with Northeastern, maybe even two seasons with Northeastern. If you're a Canadiens fan, you're already familiar with this program as Caden Primo and Jordan Harris, not to mention Jaden Struve, they're all in or they were in that system prior to, so there is a familiarity there with the Huskies and their developing services. If it's not Montreal, though, then hey, you still have a lot more development to go with this player, and Northeastern, for the most part, they have had some pretty notable names come into the organization in the past. Obviously, as a Canucks fan, I'm thinking about Aiden McDonough, I'm thinking about Adam Gaudet as well. If they can get Jack Hughes on that same sort of development path, then... I mean, a bottom six center floor is not really too bad in the slightest, in my opinion, at least. So again, let me know your thoughts. What do you think about Jack Hughes? Where do you think he's going to go in the future? And where do you think he is literally going to go in terms of which team drafts him? I hope you enjoyed this video of Trolls 99. And bye.